Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use bi-directional links inside of Mem to make connections between your ideas and use your notes to create long form content like blog posts, books, and so much more. And if you wanna learn more about how to do this, make sure you check out our free course on how to take better book notes. I'll include a link in the description below. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than the ones that I've previously done. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to dissect one of my notes inside of Mem and show you how to make connections between your ideas. Now, bidirectional links are probably one of the most misunderstood features of note-taking apps like Mem, but they're also one of the most valuable features. And the example that I like to use is my friend Ryan Holiday's books. If you've ever read Ryan's books, you'll notice a pattern. He usually takes an idea from a previous book and expands on it in the book that follows. And what he's effectively doing is creating bidirectional links between each of his books, which is how he ends up being able to write an entire trilogy, like Obstacle is the Way, Ego is the Many Enemy, and Stillness is the Key. Bidirectional links don't just help you overcome writer's block, they also help you make connections between your ideas. So if you go back to the whole idea of taking smart notes, each time you take a literature note, you load your brain's pattern recognition system, and each note and idea you capture and nugget of knowledge keeps improving these pattern recognition capabilities. And pattern recognition and the ability to have insight without immediate action is basically the practical application of bidirectional links. So when you take smart notes, your literature notes lead to permanent notes, and right around 50 notes or so, you start to see what I call the compound interest of taking smart notes. But network thinking is really counterintuitive, so it's a bit hard to comprehend this idea until you've captured enough notes. Now, what ends up happening when you've captured enough notes is that mental scaffolding guides future thoughts. So what does that mean? It basically means that each note becomes a building block for your next one. So if you go back to the example of Ryan's books, a concept in his previous book gives him a mental scaffolding to write the next one. Every time you write, you retrieve and recall the knowledge that's inside your head, but you also recall and retrieve externalized knowledge. So let me show you the note that uh, I created, and I'm literally sharing the entire script for this note with you. So if you look at you know, the script here, what you'll start to see is that this entire note right about how to make connections between your links was built from a bunch of other notes. And this whole concept and the script for this video was something that I built just using a bunch of other notes using bi-directional links. Now, the reason that people don't quite use this to its fullest capacity is they just add a link to a related note, which is useful, but it's far more useful when you actually write sentences using existing notes instead of just capturing a link underneath. So you can see here that all these different sentences are written with other notes. And of course, like I say here, there's going to be times when you attempt to link an existing note to a new note, and that's when you find that nothing comes up. And those are great opportunities to create bi-directional links and create a new note. And as a result of using bi-directional links in the process of building your note-taking database, you end up building a system that pretty much helps you remember every single idea that you ever had. As I said at the beginning of the video, this concept is a little bit counterintuitive. It's one of those things that you really won't understand until you start uh, taking enough notes and right around 50 notes or so, you'll start to see this kick in. But the way to really take advantage of this is as you're writing new notes, rather than just linking existing notes with a link at the bottom saying related notes, what you want to do is think about how to cross-reference them as uh, Sanka Aaron says here from his book, how to take smart notes. And the way to cross-reference is to actually use the titles of your notes in sentences and other notes. And so that way you end up being able to build all these different notes where every note is a building block for other notes. And eventually you're going to have so much in there that you can write long form blog posts. You can write books. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. I know this concept is not as straightforward as some of the other ones I've shared, but try it, take about 50 notes and then start to combine them together and see if you can connect the dots by creating new notes where you link other notes with the sentences you add. As always, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and yeah, I'll, and also include a link for those of you who want any advice on tutorials for future notes.